FSU's former head coach Bobby Bowden acknowledges the fans during the Garnet and Gold Spring game at Doak Campbell Stadium on Saturday, April 14, 2018. B49I1498 former FSU football head coach Bobby Bowden died at the age of 91 early Sunday morning, surrounded by his family. The news broke a couple of weeks ago this time would come sooner rather than later, yet it still doesn't make writing this any easier. Coach Bowden was a great coach, arguably the greatest football coach of all time. However, the things I've read Sunday morning and over the past couple of weeks tell me his career as a coach paled in comparison to who he was as a man. As I woke to the news, I wondered what I could say that hasn't already been said. I mean, there are so many stories on the field and from former players that it makes it hard to put it all together. As I sat in church this morning, no doubt where Coach Bowden would have been if able, I began to think about life as a whole and how fleeting it is. Then I began to read the tributes from former players and coaches. I thought to myself, and these are a fraction of the people he impacted in this world. I don't think I've ever heard one bad thing about Bobby Bowden, and the man lived for 91 years. As great as he was, he still dealt with incredible losses. He won two national championships and could have won several more, but he never let what could have been define him. He always gave credit to his players for what he accomplished as a coach. As I sat in church this morning, I thought to myself. I hope that my children show the same reverence for me after I'm gone, as Coach Bowden's former players have displayed for him today and over the years. It's something Coach Mike Norville alluded to when he met Coach Bowden for the first time in 2020. If we were to approach life the same way Coach Bowden did, the world would be a much better place. We lost the goat of FSU today, but Dajamit Heaven gained an angel. Rest well in paradise, Coach Bowden.